Hi, my name's Gus Cameron, and I'm the owner of This Old Chopper. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another week. Here we go. We got stuff going on. We got to change bikes around. Get that off. Get that up. Going to do some stuff. Play with that thing over there. I don't know. Goof around. Show you some tips and tricks. I want to tell you that um, if you haven't already checked out my other channel, it's called Wrenching for Wellness, and it's Wrenching Number Four Wellness. It's a YouTube channel. I only got 12 subscribers, but uh, I'm trying to promote uh, good health, good mental health, and uh, you know, I want to interview some people that that wrench for wellness. I I I know I do it. I know lots of people do it. I even know bike shop owners that are wrenching for wellness. Uh, one of the questions might be, you're stuck in your house, it's crap, there's nothing on TV, you're done, whatever, what do you do? Go to the garage and wrench. I've heard that more than once. And uh, it's a thing. And if you don't have that ability, I want to bring it to you. If you want to come over here and wrench on something, get a hold of me. I'm going to have a shop one of these days. I'm going to have a wrenching for wellness garage. It's going to be like an auto shop. And it's going to be for people that need to wrench but can't or they don't have anything to wrench on. We're going to fix that. Watch out. It's going to happen. I am driving forward and I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to engage government. And it's going to happen. I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. So I need your help. I need you to talk about it. I need you to comment about it. Because when I propose my thing to government or whatever, I'm going to use my YouTube channel, Wrenching for Wellness. And I'm going to use that for ammunition. I'm going to get local leaders in our community, my MLA, my counselor. I'm going to get them all behind me on this. And it's going to happen. It's going to be a first and it's going to happen. I'm sorry I'm pointing, but um, I just want to know, I just want you to know that how important it is. Anyways, that's my other channel if you'd like to go check it out. Like and subscribe if you would. Like and subscribe this channel if you like. Anyways, this week we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some uh, wrenching. We're going to do some goofing around. We're going to move that thing, like I said, back. Um, a couple of surprises and some tips and tricks. And uh, maybe we'll get a break line this week. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this week's video. So we're working on that, working on the brake. Let me show you what I got. All right, so uh, I got this wrench. It's an old wrench, it's offset wrench, it's very old. 
I'll tell you how old it is. One end is 19 30 seconds. And the other end is half inch. Do you see that? Is it backwards or is it, can you read it? 19 30 seconds wrench. I never heard of one. So I'm going to use this as a brake stay. So it's the rod to keep the, keep the caliper from moving. This is what I wanted to have from day one. This is what I was thinking about from day one. So in order to make this work, I had to make some things on the lathe. I made some uh, little bushings. So there's a bigger bushing. So that'll go in there like that. Turn that into a hole. And then I made a washer for the other side of it. Right? Washer. So that, that'll take a 3 8 bolt. Then I made one for this end. Made one, one for the small end. Little bushing, right? With a washer. So, so I wonder, I think it's gonna work. I don't know if I should paint that or leave it gross looking or what I should do with it. I don't know. 1930 seconds, 1930 seconds wrench. How friggin' old is that? So that's like 330 seconds over half inch. 330 seconds over half inch. That's really weird. Anyway, all right. Got me old wrench. Put a bushing on it. Put a washer on it. Turn it back. Put that through there like that. Don't look too bad. What? So I gotta make a little bushing to go from here to there. And then my 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 wrench. I think that looks good. It's look, that's yeah, offset. I'll pull it over a little bit. I think that's going to be good. It's going to work. I think it's going to I like it. I like it. So, yeah. I'm going to get a shorter bolt. I'll measure that. I'll get the right, right length. And I got to make a bushing. A little bushing to go right here. And that'll hold that and that. And that'll, everything will be nice and tight. I like it. Never seen one like that before, did you? Ha! All right. We got it. Made a bushing. I'll cut the bolt off. A little long. So what do you think of my idea? Can you see it over there? It's a wrench. What? Anyways. It is what it is. Shop class 101. Anyways, you guys, uh, guys and girls, are probably wondering about this thing. Uh, I took it down off the shelf there. That's my little Stoker corner, uh, marine engineer that is. Um, so yeah, um, this is a heat engine. It's uh, the Sterling Cycle type of heat engine. I'm just gonna do a little, just a little commercial break here, you know, in between wrenching. Uh, but I made every piece of that and uh, I, I was in the right place at the right time and uh, Got these books You know, I don't even know from who You know, these are all cannons Different cannons uh, Shop project for a machine shop and this is the, all the blueprints for the heat engine. 
that being the heat engine. So there, so I guess you can see that. Um, there's uh, every piece is in here, every piece. There's the legs, you know, the the bases, the crank is, is very interesting. I just wanna find that drawing and show you the crank. Uh, it was made from a solid piece of, uh, a block of metal, a block of metal. I rem I forget that. Um, I forget making the crank. I do remember turning it off centers, and um, but uh, it's a whole solid block. Can you see this all right? So it's a block of steel, nine inches long, three inches, um, three by three, I believe. Or th three quarters, three three inch by three quarters. Uh, it tells you how to lay it out. And uh, guess there's more parts. Uh, there's the crank. Uh, it's quite a thing. It's quite a thing. So it's a Sterling cycle. There's a hot end and a cold end. There's a power cylinder and a, a hot end, hot cylinder and a cold cylinder. You heat this up with the torch, which I'm going to do. I put a little oil in it, so it, it it is spinning pretty good. So let's just see how long it takes. We got flame. Stop that from rolling. This is a pencil. There. So I can't remember how long we heated it for. I don't know, three or four minutes. Um, it's kind of cool. I'll get the. I'll take the camera off the stand and let you have a little closer look at the components once it going um, all my old stoker buddies are going oh man I had one of them I can't find it anymore or I lost it in a move or something silly but I'm so glad I kept mine you know we got other projects we did too you know there's a machinist vice we did um, a parallel clamp we did I think we did a few other like a hammer maybe or something anyways I can't remember but uh, they're all right there I wonder if this will just start on its own or if I got to give it a kick I can't remember I think I do got to give it a little spin This is good. This is good. There she goes. You're getting hot. There we go. She got a little bit of a wobble. And this is what we use to maybe give it some lube.
That's uh, never been apart. I know Bruce Goldsmith has got one, and he uh, did some adjustments to it somewhere. I don't know what he did. But it's also, uh, it's timed. The two pistons are timed to work together. I'm going to uh, watch my clock. Ten seconds, I'll take the heat away. See what it runs down, how much it takes, how long it takes to run down. Okay, there we go. Heat is away. Not bad. It's got a little bit of a wobble. Sitting on plywood, I guess. I don't know. Maybe the legs aren't the same length. She's starting to slow down. I can hear it. But it's pretty cool, you know. We built all that. Like I said, everything but the nuts and the quarter 20 bolts and the plug on the back. But one's a cold piston, one's a hot piston or a power piston. Uh, I'm sure Bruce Goldsmith will comment, Goldie's Garage will comment on this. He knows a lot about it. I was just a student. Well, that's a minute. I think you had to get it, I think you had to get three minutes to get a pass or something like that. Three or four minutes. But the uh, the drawings, eh? I know there's just some stokers out there that still like to work on lathes and stuff, and I know I'm gonna get hit up for a copy of these plans, maybe some cannons, I don't know. Um, but yeah, there it is. Mr. Carlick, Mr. Carlick was our instructor who has passed away, Rip, Mr. Carlick. Uh, I think there's a video from a few years ago on your passing. Uh, I flashed this up and had a drink of beer and toasted you, Mr. Carlick. And uh, the other guy that was a, was part of the military, uh, Clark was his last name. I think he was a P2 or a P1, I don't know. Nobby Clark, they called him. I ever guess every Clarks are Nobby, are all Nobbies. But um, there's two minutes. I'm barely going to make a pass here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sterling cycle. I, I guess it's a thing. Oh, the bomb. Bomb, I said the word. This was our practice piece. Um, they called it the bomb. It's since seized up. I can't get them apart. But it's all tapers, different, um, a coarse thread and a fine thread, knurling, tapers, uh, collars. It's all... It was the bomb, it was called the bomb. And uh, it was just a practice piece before we built that. Oh, there's three minutes coming up. Am I gonna get past, I'm gonna make a pass. Anyways, that was then and this is now. All we got is memories. Anyways, don't forget you stokers, there's a get together, 22nd of March, ship victory. Get you stokers out and have some fun. That's pretty cool. You'll notice on the blades they're uh, bare metal. And I took a dowel and some grinding compound and a drill press and I just laid the blade on the on the table and I took the grinding compound and put it all over the, uh, the blade and I just touched it with a, a dowel, a wooden dowel which put the pattern on the blade. There's one guy in our class, he had the whole thing chromed. So there you go.
So, all right. So, uh, I got some other tips and tricks coming up. Um, I'm going to see if I can get them geared up and uh, give you a little look-see. All right. Later on. Four minutes. <laughs> if you're still with me, I apologize for the length of this. getting tough there you go 430 mr. Carlick was that a pass <laughs> okay here's something else for you tips and tricks uh, there's an easy writer publication there's four four uh, volumes and it talks about flat heads and pan heads and knuckles and and shovel heads uh, first generation shovel generator shovel and then alternator shovel which is uh let me see uh 66 to 69 is the thing called a pan shovel uh so it's like a, a shovel head uh top with a pan head bottom and then in uh 69 or 70 they changed it uh to a cone shovel which has the points cone uh, on the on the right side of the engine and that goes all the way to 84 I believe 1984 but anyways uh, tips and tricks four volumes this is what I got out of one of them um, so uh, where'd it go here it is so you know what this is this is an oil can I got it at Princess Auto just the other day uh, nine dollars it comes with a threaded in uh, spout and uh, what I was gonna do is I was gonna cut the end off but I see that in the middle of the hose, there's a metal rod so that you can bend it and it'll stay bent. But I, I didn't want that rod in there. So uh, I was absolutely, I unscrewed it and I absolutely found a nipple down on my tickle trunk and I screwed it in there. And now I got a piece of hose and here's what you do with it. I'll just move the camera a little bit. You pull your cap off your mask, your um, your caliper. You put on the hose. You could put a little tie wrap on it if you wanted to hold it. And then, when you're getting ready to uh, do the brakes on this thing, if there was a, a a line on there, which I already ordered, it's coming soon, four days I believe. Um, so you crack your bleeder. You got your dot five in your can. You pump it up, and you reverse bleed from the caliper up to the master cylinder. You get all the air out of the line, you close the bleeder, you pull it off, brakes are bled. Ain't that awesome? I picked up another trick, I'll move the camera here. I picked up another trick out of that, those tips and tricks, Easy Rider tips and tricks, and it has to do with uh, being able to help your buddy on the side of the road when he's got a flat tire. I'm going to make one and I'll show you in another video. Uh, it's very cool and it's cheap and it's going to get your buddy to the garage uh, or you. It's going to get you to the garage if you spring a leak on, in one of your tires. But anyways, I got another little thing I want to show you that I read online and I went ahead and purchased and uh, it makes uh, having a bagger uh, that much easier. So stand by for that. Anybody that drives a bike with bags on it like this knows that when you want to clean your bike or check your oil, or not your oil, your air pressure, um, you take the bags off, you set them on something, they freaking fall over, they freaking, they will not sit still. You put these bags on the ground somewhere and they're going to fall over, okay? I saw this on another site, I ordered them, um, let me show you. Anybody want to take a guess at what these are? <laughs> Guitar stand. Watch this. 
Where's my sweater? I was missing that. Okay, off she comes. There it is. That works. So there you go. Bag stand. I think it works good. I got two, they were like, I think you buy them in pairs. It might be 30 bucks. Pretty simple to me. Until later. There you go. So I hope you enjoyed this this week's uh, video, and uh, try to make it a little more entertaining next week. I think I got a brake line coming, so we're gonna test the brakes on the front of this thing, woodpecker, and uh, see if we get brakes. All that effort that I put into the front end, we'll see if it'll actually work. And uh, if we get a nice fine day, maybe we'll take it down the damn road. And uh, see how it goes see if I can stop right on so once again uh, thanks for checking me out thanks for watching thanks for your support thank you to Ralph it's my time let's go down the valley very good hippie hippies chopper corner down there slick slickhead custom cycle Goldie's garage all them guys um, how many more uh, I got, they're in my head. Uh, there's more, I know. Uh, I just want to say thank you. I saw my watch hours 2,500, so 1,500 to go. 650 subscribers. Got to get to 1,000. Anyways, it's all good. I'm going to try a different set of bars on this thing. That's why you see there's no bars. There's no bars. I wasn't, I'm not digging the black things. Anyways, uh, I got a set of a few sets right there. I got a T bar, drag bars with eight inch risers, maybe. I don't know. What goes with this kind of a bike? 10 inch apes? I don't know. Let's see what happens. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week. We'll see some fun.